The White House announced a strengthened effort to crack down on fentanyl traffickers. The Biden administration plans to hit traffickers by targeting their financial activities and partnering up with the private sector and carriers to, dis dis to disrupt the supply chain for them. Our Washington correspondent Basil John has the latest details. Friday, Attorney General Merrick Garland announced a major operation to disrupt fentanyl trafficking from Mexico. The United States government is using every tool at its disposal to combat the fentanyl epidemic. The DOJ says the Sinaloa cartel makes the drug using chemicals from China and sells them in the U.S., mixed with other drugs or as counterfeit pain medications. Many un Americans are unaware that they are purchasing and being poisoned by fentanyl. The new effort is part of the Biden administration's broader fight against fentanyl traffickers. Cracking down on the supply is a multifaceted endeavor. The administration wants to hurt the supply chain by working with banks here and abroad to go after the drug makers' financial accounts. Ultimately, what people want to do off this is profit from it. And if we can disrupt that, we're getting at a key piece of it. The administration is also partnering with shipping carriers to cut off access to illicit substances. This limiting uh, the extent to which law enforcement um, has to monitor a wide set of possible venues and transportation channels. Vandeville Bob Brown with the Brookings Institute says these tactics will also support the U.S. in its related diplomatic efforts. To point out the failures of uh, the government in Mexico, the limitations, the, the failures of the government in China. The president is also asking Congress to permanently classify fentanyl as a Schedule One drug. Reporting in Washington, I'm Basil John.